Will England can loop to part of my own promo. Thanks, Sundar. Hopefully I'll uh, do better with this than I did Mega Reverts. Um, I'm very excited to show you guys some of the new file features and functionality that we've been building directly into the Chrome OS. We think it's going to make our users' lives a lot easier. Uh, let's start with a very common scenario that a lot of users have. Someone emails you a file and you want to be able to save it for later viewing or use. In this particular case, my friend Rahul has emailed me uh, ACML5 cam with cheat sheets, so I'll stop nagging him with my annoying questions. Um, <coughs> And I'm going to go ahead and download this. And as you can see, it downloads immediately. And now I can close it. And if I ever wanted to get back to it, I, <coughs> I have to open up the new file manager that we built in the Chrome OS, which I've already got open in another tab. And just draw it to the folder. And there's the file. Double click, opens and sends it. So it's very simple, and very easy. Nice. Now, of course, you realize that people have a lot of other Data, uh, data types. For example, a lot of users have music, uh, media, movies, and so forth that they want to be able to play on this device as well. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go back to the file manager, and here I've got a USB drive full of some of my favorite music and movies. I'm going to go into the music folder, and let's just try to open one of these and see what happens. It opens immediately the new media player that we've added as well. It's very simple, very easy to use. You can do basic things, skip, pause, you can even create new playlists and so forth. But now let's try a video. So let's go back. And I've got here a bunch of movie trailers, some of my favorite movies. Um, but I've also got the Chrome vs. Potato Gun video, which I'm very, very excited about. Because let's face it, who doesn't like potato guns, right? Um, so let's watch this. Now, again, it opens immediately in the uh, media player and the panel form factor. So I can now go back and check in my email or reading news or whatever while continuing to watch. Of course, if I wanted to focus purely on just on the video, I can easily full screen it as well. So let's watch this for a second. So as you can see, as awesome as potato guns are, they're clearly no match for Chrome. One of the main trends that we're seeing is more and more users are starting to move, <coughs> move to online media consumption. So they're streaming their content directly from web services. For example, yesterday, we actually launched two free services, Movie Rentals right, and Google Music Beta, which all work seamlessly on this device as well, because again, it's just the web. Now, of course, all your other favorite online services like Hulu or Amazon or even Netflix which we've been working closely with, will also just work out of the box. And same with your music, your mod, your Pandora, and so forth. Now, another important media type that a lot of users have today is photos. A very common use case is you're at an event, maybe I.O., maybe a birthday, maybe a party of some sort. You take a whole bunch of photos, that you want to be able to share with your friends. So how does that work on Chrome OS? Well, I've got here an SD card full of photos I took at my daughter's recent birth that I'm very excited to share with my friends. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. And now, because Chromebooks are cloud devices, we wanted to make it really easy and really seamless for users to get their files, their important data, directly into the cloud so that they can have it accessible to them from anywhere as well as easily share those with other people. So as you can see, it's automatically opened up a new file manager directly in the SD card. So I can start clicking through all my photos. I can preview them. I can select a bunch and play a slideshow if I wanted to. But most importantly for me, I just want to get these in the cloud as soon as possible so I can share it with some of my friends who came over to visit. Now, because I'm a Picasa user, I've gone ahead and installed the Picasa web app with that from the Chrome Web Store. And by doing so, the app has actually registered itself as a local file handler for image file types on this device. So now when I select three photos, a new contextual button pops up that says send to Picasa directly in line with file handler. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And I can create a new album. Let's say baby and friends. 
is private and upload. And immediately it starts uploading in the background. So I can now go back, continue checking my email, browsing around the web, and when it's done, it'll tell me and give me a link to view it online. And there oh it is. Oh my god. Very fast, <laughs> very easy. And now I'm ready to share it. Now, of course, this works with other data types as well. For example, your documents, your presentations, your spreadsheets, and so forth. So let's go back. And here I have a doc that I've been working on for Google I.O. that I want to share with my friends. And again, because I'm a Google Docs user, I've already installed the Google Docs app. And this has registered itself as a file handler for doc types. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open with Google Docs, upload, and I'm done. It's already in the cloud. Now the best part is, we've built these APIs directly into the platform so that any web service, any web app, can leverage the same APIs to build the same great experience for all their users too. For example, we've been working with Box.net, one of the leading online storage providers, to build the same great <coughs> app for their users so they can seamlessly upload docs and files directly into Box. So let me show you how that works. I've got a PDF here, and I've got a button that says save box.net, and I'm going to click it, and bam, it's in the cloud already. I'm ready to go to Box.net and share this with others. Let's check that. Of course, we're working with a lot of other service providers as well, like Dropbox, for example, to build the same great experience for them. And the best part is, this is actually really, really easy to use, uh, or to build apps on. It literally took Box.net less than one weekend leveraging their existing upload APIs and some of our new file extension APIs to build this app. So you can imagine in the future, when we <coughs> any user should be able to take an image from their SD card and open it directly in an online photo editor. Or if someone sends me a CAD file, I should be able to open that directly in Tinkercad. Um, we're really trying to open up the world of your offline files to the, to, to the web, so that any web app can actually register themselves and handle your local files. And so it's our hope that you, as web app developers, as web service writers, will leverage these same APIs to create the exact same great experience and seamless experience for all of your users as well. And with that, I'm going to hand it back to Sundar. Thank you very much.